I also got some gummy bears between episodes. Because I was like, man, I really want some gummy bears. <laughs> I have a weird addiction to, like, Mott's. The, um, the, like, fruit medleys. And I don't get enough fruit in my diet. So I basically chug V8s and eat fruit-flavored gummy bears. And that's okay. <laughs> that's what I do. Anyway, yeah. uh, let's pick, back, pick it back up. Um, we need to talk to people that are not feeling good. And, uh... Yay for content. So let's talk to Toad and TJ. Uh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. We'll talk about this later. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? It's okay. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was going to pull me down too. <laughs> cuz cuz she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said... They s said, stop laughing at me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> Sheriff. So, yeah, I think I'm going to let him go. Yeah, okay, someone who looks okay. funny then. Like, strange. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. So, face of half of her body, or the fake body, probably. 
is under the water. That went about as well as I expected. Everything okay? Maybe. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. I like having her along as a partner. It's actually really helpful. Having a second opinion. Another set of eyes. And if I'm around her, I can probably protect her better anyway. Yeah, it does mean that you're less likely to use violence. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? <laughs> is that Jack and you know, Jack and the Beast? We were just talking about you. I'm not all sure. At the bar, here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which... I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? I'm gonna try to be gentle. I, yeah, yeah, be gentle to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you get one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way.
Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? I don't know about her friends. She hung around where she worked, mostly. She was hooking to pay down debt. It mm. ain't up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. Not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. That's helpful. We'll check into it. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? A lot of people who weren't... I'll go down Michael there now, last time. see what I can find out from the owner. You were it, good with her. A way Thanks. more like win episode two. Mm -hmm. Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. Once you hear everyone's backstories, pretty much there's no bad people. It's just they're people. Like everyone is people. Everyone's got reasons they do stuff and there's not like an inherent black or white with being evil. Even Snow White does some stupid shit, but we really haven't seen that from her yet. But, um... Yeah, this game makes a good... Good characters out of pretty much everyone. Everyone's got goods and bads. Um, and all the trolls have their own, like, quirks, but they're not inherently terrible people. Yeah, indeed. But, but the same Walking Dead, right? Like, there's no one particularly who's terrible. There's a few people who make very bad decisions, but besides the cannibal... Spoilers. Oh, Oops. <laughs> Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it um, business or pleasure? Or both? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? Hm. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Is this also the pimp? Yep. Georgie Porgy runs the pudding and pie. 
kiss the girls or made them kiss other people. Welcome to the and Pudding and cried. Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. There's that line again. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need pizza. Gonna need pizza. For oh, fuck's sake. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Forgot I'm gonna need pizza. You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. All right, let's see how it's we're gonna face. handle this. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Hey. Well, usually you've dollar bills. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. <laughs> I'd rather not. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, this is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Uh, I like his tattoo across his chest. I think who it's told cool. you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. Strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh, no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Fuck off, Hans.
I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication <laughs> skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Okay. So we got options here, and I'm going to pause it for a second and let you really think about this. This guy's been kind of a shithead to us, and um, we've named Faith's pimp as our murder suspect. So how badly do you want to fuck over his workplace? Uh, well, it will definitely come back to bite you, and it's an enemy that who cares if we have? He just owns the fucking strip joint. It's not exactly our domain. So yeah, fuck with him all you like. No holds barred? Just well, do everything. And I, well, I'm assuming Hansel there won't mind. Okay, he's about to beat him with the bat after all. Okay, here we go. Smash the boombox. Sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Oh, he actively encouraged you. He practically gave him permission. I mean. Unbelievable prick! Hey, now! <laughs> Break the cigarette machine? Yep. There's more smokes anyway, I think we've run out. They're not my brand. Oh, never mind, they Shouldn't are my brand. With that. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Destroy the TV? Yeah, absolutely. He's only got to be in the car anyway. Jesus, fuck! <laughs> do not touch that. You hear me? Wreck, nothing to do wreck the keg? <laughs> or on a roll, yeah, fuck he it. doesn't need to do it. <laughs> Sober head, we'll help him out. Oh, look at that! Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Hurt Georgie? I guess so, we need that key. <laughs> oh, was it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me! I'm begging you, I'll pay you. Smash sign. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Nate, leave it. There's nothing there for you. The most DJ booth. <laughs> You're lucky this is a dance it. club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, men. <laughs> Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. He kind of gave us oh, permission. Could have just given us the book. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. There it is. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X-types. 
Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hmm. I will take those cigarettes. Hello. Business office. Absolutely. And she'd probably try and talk to that girl as well. <laughs> Freaking light up right in the middle of the club. Awesome. Yeah. So pissed! <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. All right, let's go talk to the girl. To be fair, he he does have ashtrays. Yep. Okay. Um, here's a bunch of stuff. A note on the ground. I see immediately. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. All right. Um, well, it's the same client that puts Woodsman back in, like the picture of the being Mr. Smith. Yeah. You know, before we talk to this lady, I think we want to. I want to pause it. Uh, this one's been going on for a little while. But next time, we'll talk to the girl we saw disappear into the back and hopefully dodge the police because Georgie is probably calling Ichabod or Snow to complain about how we just wrecked his entire business. Not that I care, <laughs> but. Whatever. I, I hate Georgie. <laughs> so fuck it. <laughs> See y'all next time.